Greetings, my brethren, and welcome again. So months ago, we got our own hipster Excal sporting a scarf so long the entire team can trip over it. I'm sure almost no one, including myself, has not touched regular Excalibur since acquiring him. And actually, most of the founders probably haven't touched Excal Prime since either. We're not going to touch that subject, inappropriately or otherwise. Instead, I'm going to answer a burning question in the Warframe community. Is there going to be another Umbra Warframe? My answer? Yes. I believe there will be more Umbra frames based on the fact that Umbral mods exist. Excal should not and probably would not be the only one who will have increased efficiency fighting sentience. Well, if that were the case, they probably would have just built the bonuses into him. If there is an umbral version of a frame, what incentive is there to even get the prime? If you can get the umbra from a quest that has the same or better stats and abilities for free, the value of the prime frame goes down significantly. This just doesn't affect the player, but digital extremes as well. You know, why would players buy platinum to trade for a frame that they have a better version of? They wouldn't. Excal was the exception because he was something only the founders can have, and I think DE released him to kind of gauge the reaction of the community. I think DE is probably going to take one of two approaches on future Umbra frames. First, instead of releasing them in succession like the Prime frames have been, thereby making those Primes obsolete, frames that do not currently have a Prime will have a Prime variant or an Umbra variant. This is intriguing because I'd like to see which ones would be slated for their darker future selves. Also, since the current loan Umbra is only available through a quest, it means DE will have more time to focus on doing fewer and better quests. The second option, and the one that seems more logical, is that a Prime frame would be needed to acquire the Umbra frame. Kind of like a sacrifice. This still incentivizes players to get the Primes, knowing that they will need them in order to get the Umbra. There are, however, two problems with both of these approaches. One, Warframe isn't getting any younger. It took five years for the first Umbra to come out. As games mature, players are going to move on to newer and potentially better games. I doubt anyone is going to wait another five years for a Garuda Umbra. Even for Prime variants, which are still years apart right now, this means that DE has to start pumping Primes and Umbras out at an ever-increasing pace to keep and attract players, all the while still creating new content. Which brings me to my second point. As it is now, the Soul Dark Soldier is only available through a quest. Does this mean that future Umbras will also only be had through a quest? Making a polished quest takes time, which this game will run out of. And are they seriously going to be making 36 more quests just for newer frames? And still be releasing newer frames on top of that? Given this, now the first option seems more attractive. Well, it could also be a combination of both, where they have selected which ones will be Umbras and you will need to sacrifice a Prime to get it. I could be wrong about any of these options, but that would be a first, so mark the date I uploaded this just in case. Comment on what you think may happen. Like maybe DE will just start marketing Umbra related things. Like the Umbra. Braziers for women who really like Warframe. Umbroth. Broth for only the darkest of soups. Umbrocoli. A vegetable you still won't want to eat. Umbrotwurst, a big dark sausage. Umbronchial infection, you will probably die from this. Umbrawl, fighting so dark it makes the UFC look like it's little bit.